week marks the 44th anniversary of the historic tennis match between Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs. But this movie is about so much more. Billie Jean was a true champion fighting for women's rights and equality, and this movie shed light on how she paved the way. One of the most iconic tennis players in the world, Billie Jean King, won 39 career Grand Slam titles. But she is perhaps better recognized for advocacy for women in sports. King is the founder of the Women's Tennis Association and the Women's Sports Foundation. You know, she was someone who just wanted to be the best tennis player in the world and felt the responsibility of um, becoming a symbol for women's equality in the women's movement, and she took that on, and that's, that's very brave. She basically has been a social activist since the very beginning. She loved tennis, but as much as she loved the sport, she really used that platform for social change. I mean, that was really the, the ultimate end goal, and the battle of the sexes itself was really a giant venue to, to change things. The famous showdown between the 29-year-old King and the 55-year-old Bobby Riggs was as much spectacle as sport. However, it became a pivotal moment in the history of the women's movement. On September 20th, 1973, 30,000 fans filled the Houston Astrodome and another 50 million people watched from home as King defeated Riggs in three straight sets. There was a lot of pressure. Um, by then, I was in the zone, but you gotta remember, we still had the Virginia Slims Tour. Hello, I still, I played a tournament that week that I played that match. People have no idea. It was mind-numbingly wild. To think about playing an icon is, it, it was, you know, it's impossible. It's, no one can live up to Billie Jean King, so I just did the very best I could to capture her essence. Now, don't get me wrong, I love women in the bedroom and in the kitchen, but these days they want to be everywhere. They want to be doing everything. Where is it going to end? Keep talking, Bobby. The more nonsense you spell, the worse it's going to be when you lose. Well, I'm the ladies number one. I'm the champ. Why would I lose? Because dinosaurs can't play tennis. I could not have been luckier because she is so... You know, she's a spitfire, but she's also so warm. She loves people so much, and she instantly was like, all right, what do you need? What do you want to do? Let's go to the tennis court. Emma really took this on. I mean, she you know, worked with a trainer because she knew she had to go from a dancer's body from La La Land to a, like a pro athlete's body. So she worked out for months, and she gained 15 pounds of muscle. But the other side of it, of kind of getting inside who Billie Jean was, was equally hard. Really the reason we wanted to tell the story was because of all that was going on in Billie Jean's personal life, all that she had at stake when she went into this match, which she did reluctantly. She really didn't want to play against Bobby, but she knew she had to, to kind of shut him down. I think it's a fitting tribute to Billie Jean because she's so important. Um, not just for women's tennis, but for just culturally in general, and to to meet somebody like that who's had so much impact, it's kind of intimidating. We stand on someone like Billie Jean's shoulders when we continue this conversation about equality, equal pay, equal treatment. All of that is we still have a long way to go. So um, I hope it keeps the conversation alive and reminds people that even one voice can make a huge, huge difference. <laughs>